Hello, I am Robert and in this tutorial I want to show you how to do low poly pine trees in Blender. Since I've been doing some low poly videos, I thought that I might as well just do a low poly pine tree tutorial. So for a, so this is pretty much a beginner tutorial and that's why I have screencast keys enabled in case you do not know a shortcut that I might end up using in this tutorial. So I want to start by creating a cylinder and I would recommend something between 5 and 8. Uh, I really like 6 and 8 and for this tutorial I thought that I'll just use 8. So I'm going to move this up. Actually I have snapping enabled, I want to turn that off. And I want to scale this down and scale this up around there. And I want to do a couple loop cuts, maybe six. So just type in six in your keyboard. And now what we want to do is, actually now we do want snapping enabled. So click on this magnet over here and we're going to create more edges and scale them just a little bit. And we're going to keep doing the same all over the tree. As you can see, it's already getting shape, but it's pretty cool. And you can do as many loop cuts as you want, although too many will be actually kind of messy looking. And now what we're going to do is, well, we'll try selecting, let's try selecting these vertices over here and these other ones over here and just what we're going to do is move them down so it looks more irregular and I just realized I have the normal on and self global which is this thing over here so make sure you're on global so your axes look normal and what you want to do is move these down just a little bit and actually take off the snapping you just want to do it a little bit, not too much. And now what we want to do is select all these inner loops by pre pressing shift alt and selecting. And what we're going to do is I want to scale shift Z and make it a bit smaller. And maybe we can even make it go up. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So as you can see, it already has shape. I'm actually going to no, make this uh, face smaller so it looks more like a pine tree. Maybe maybe move it up a little bit. And also, what I would do is I would add just a few vertices. And with the proportional editing uh, enabled, which is by pressing O or by clicking on this, I'm going to select random. And what I'm going to do is move this down and just a little bit, just to make this a little bit irregular. And you can go further by pressing this top vertice and rotating on the Z. Just, just do it a little bit, not too much, or it's going to look awful. And make sure you don't have uh, vertices overlapping. Just do this a little bit more, just a little bit. And as you can see, it already looks pretty cool. And you can make as many variants as you wish. And now we're going to finish by creating a trunk. So I want to create another cylinder and this time let's just make it six and shift Z. Show you it's still kind of big. Scale on the Z so it goes up. And normally a trunk is kind of uh, bigger around this area, probably because of the roots. So what I want you to do is create a loop cut and select this one under 
in scale and actually make sure you have the proportional editing off so press L on your keyboard so that looks pretty nice and you can change the look of your trunk because it looks kind of basic um, with a few steps my mouse is not working very well today maybe it's the sensibility okay that's nice that's better sorry and what I want you to do is create a couple loop cuts and I want you to add a modifier subdivision and make sure you have another loop cut around here so our base doesn't really disappear and what I want you to do is grab this face rotate this just a little bit and make sure you have proportional editing enabled just do it a little bit and obviously not with the random because it looks kind of weird just a little bit so it looks kind of more like a trunk and now what we're going to do is decimate and I want to move this down and maybe add triangulate or something like that and just maybe move this around a little bit so it looks I guess more realistic and just try to find what looks good and now what we're going to do is move it to our our other layer and there we go so it, as you can see it doesn't look as simple as it did before but it still looks low poly which is pretty cool so what I'm going to do now is create some materials so I want to create a green one for our tree let's make it darker that looks nice and another one for our trunk and this one will be brownish it might be a bit hard to get the exact colors we want so that's all for this tutorial, if you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one, bye!